Hi, it's Corrine for Knitwick Collections, and today I'm making a little mini album. I do have a start to finish on this. I will play that here after I do a quick flip through. I'm using an adorable collection from Knitwick Collections called Knitwit Thicket Christmas Collection, and I'll be sure to link to that in the description box. It's a really cute collection with really cute elements in it. Lots of tags, lots of labels, things like that. Here are a few of the tags that I used for that front pocket, along with their little paint chip, which I love, and a little tag also. I've used lots of little elements and labels throughout. On all of the pages, I did make a little photo mat out of craft cardstock. Some of them, like that one there on the left, is two and a half by two and a half, so it'll hold a two by two photo. And the other ones are, some are three and a half by four, three by three, just whatever I felt like doing on that page. But this is perfect for like little Instagram photos or a little bit smaller photos. This album measures approximately six and a half by five and a half. And all of my little elements like the trees, the bear, the flowers, everything you see there, I did back them on craft cardstock to make them sturdier since they are holding photo mats. The die that I'm using, the little house die, is a Lori Whitlock die that I purchased from the online silhouette store. So I'll be sure to link that as well. She usually sells all of her dies on her website also. So I'll link to her website. I did not see this one on there. She did have other house shaped dies that you can purchase and have either your Cameo or Cricut cut it out, or you can simply print it out and trace around it and cut it. The house shape is a really easy one that you could simply draw freehand or find a shape online, print it out and trace around it. So I will go through the full start to finish on this. I hope you stay tuned. If you have any questions, please leave me a comment. Check out the description box. And also just one other note, I did sandwich a piece of craft cardstock between all of the paper pieces, again, just to make each page a little bit more sturdy. And I have another video on how to use digital papers if you're not familiar with digital papers. You can use them in the digital sense, keep everything online, or like me, I like to print things out fussy cut them out or have my cameo cut them out and use them for scrapbook pages, cards, mini albums, things like that. And Knitwit has a an amazing collection, different collection where you get lots of little elements and tons of papers to choose from, things like that. So be sure to check them out. Check out the description box for more information. If you have any questions, like I said, please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you enjoy.
Thank you.